Hey, what is up heroes and welcome to Pokemon Crown, the new ROM hack on the block and I gotta say this looks absolutely amazing. It is insane the things people can do with the Fire Red ROM hack and can we take a second to appreciate that title screen? That looks so so nice. Oh man, I love that. But anyway, if you guys want to play along, as always, a link in the description down below. Let's jump right into it and uh, yeah, get into it. I love this transition straight from title screen to starting the game. This is, wow. This is actually so awesome already. <laughs> this is incredible. Oh, look at the Gyarados. Oh, the Pikachu! Wow, the trainers look so cool as well! Alright, let's go with the boy. Yep. We'll put our name in. I can't believe someone's made something like this. This just... This is insanely cool already. Name is Voltsy. And the fact that it's moving as well is just... Wow! So, welcome to... Gilda. I need your ticket. You're far from home, traveller. You won't get far without the proper papers. Most travellers get clearance by joining the Crown League. You need a Pokemon for that. Nevertheless, welcome to Gilda. Okay. It looks beautiful as well, and I guess in these are side quests we can pick up or something, but I hope you enjoyed your trip. It was a pleasure sailing. My crew and I need to get ready for the next voyage. If you see any of my sailors hiding around in the seaside city, send them my way. Sure. Alright, thanks, Traveller. The seas will get rough later. You'll buy us some unnecessary time. Okie dokie. This vessel here belongs to me. My wife and I take it fishing around Seaside Harbour. It's a nice little boat. I mean, that big one there's a lot better. As we can sprint. Oh, hello, you're sleeping. But watching the endless ocean, you begin to understand how minute the wars and, and struggle of man really is. A little slowpoke. Oh, using his tail as bait. Seems to have uh, been here for a while. <laughs> oh no, Slowpoke. <laughs> Alright, Ayo. Hey, you. Yeah, you there. You one of the newcomers? Welcome to uh, Gelda. Whether it's questing, adventuring, or exploring, I'm sure that we have what you want. Have you considered participating in the Crown League? What? What's the Crown League? What's the best opportunity to prove yourself to the King Queen of Gelda? Trainers from all over the world are participating to become a Crown Champion. First thing you're going to do is meet up with Professor Dogwood and obtain a Pokemon. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Excellent. Darla will get you registered as a, an adventurer and then get you your Pokemon from Dogwood. Who's Dogwood? Why, he's only the foremost Pokemon scholar in all of our region. You'll find both of them in the Guild Hall just up ahead. Off you go now. Alrighty. Oh, look at the Pokeball. It's like the um, old-fashioned ball from Legends Arceus. A blockberry, okay. Alright, let's go and explore some of these houses. Just look, the houses look awesome as well. Look at the, the floor, just. This game is gorgeous. Listen here, mate. Got a bit of a conundrum. Got a map of Gelda, but what good is that to a sailor? Now I was thinking it was a map of the sea. I'll tell you what, I'll give you this thing to you for a right old price of 100g. I have zero. Oh man, I have zero. I'd love to see a map of the region right now. That'd be so cool. So my friend here always gets sick after distant expeditions. Everyone makes fun of him, but I know how much he endures and fights to maintain appearances. I hope they invent a cure in the future for him. Oh, me too. Ugh, even a sailor can get seasick. Don't laugh at me. I would never laugh, man. I feel like I'd get seasick as well. Is there a kid here? Uh, hi. I'm hiding here and waiting for a chance to sneak onto a ship. I'll, ho I'll hop into a crate when they aren't looking. Hmm. Good luck. So you heard of Gilda's famous crown battles? Even after sailing across so many lands and regions, I've never seen such a tradition. Yeah, so the battle system in this game is a little bit different from what I've seen. Not too sure how it works yet, but obviously when we get a Pokemon and we can start you know, testing it out, we can see. But it's not your traditional, uh, you know, turn-based 1v1 sort of battle, like a normal Pokemon battle from what I've seen. But you're interested in becoming a sailor, maybe? I, I am. What you need is an adventurous spirit and a dedication to the sea. Oh, okay, never mind then. And of course, a water Pokemon to bail you out of trouble. Alright. Oh. What we got here? Fresh water. Nice. 
Love how the clock also moves as well. And the small little details. And the fire as well, just... It just really feels like it brings like, the world to life. I'm really impressed with this game so far. In case you're wondering as well, I believe it's not finished, it's like a little beta, but it's still good to get a little like teaser for something like this new, you know? So you're a traveling Pokemon trader? Unfortunately, this hotel doesn't accept guests with Pokemon. Too filthy. Well, I haven't got Pokemon, so lucky me. Uh, welcome to the Folk you Hotel. Uh, the room fee is a 1000 G. Oh, you're a peasant. <laughs> Please see yourself out. Be gone, peasant! <laughs> I admire. Oh, is it Fal Falcu? I think it's Falcu. But he fought to buy this place uh, after the previous owner went to jail. He's gone mad in there. Oh, okay. This isn't a place to loiter. Falcu Mansion is only open to paying guests. I'm sorry. Is the menu any different? Oh, I can't open the menu yet. So we can't go up that way. Should we just get our Pokemon and then we'll explore the rest of the town? Although, oh wow, you look awesome. Look at the Corviknight. Where do you like to fly? Who are you? I'm a flight master. Corviknight, he'll taxi anyone across Gilda, but they have to know their destination first. Okay, well, I don't know any destinations yet. There's the market. Uh, there's a cave there. Can't go into it because that's a wall. Looks really nice. Is this where we get the starter Pokemon? Adventurer's Guild. So I'm uh, Pedro, an adventurer, about to depart on a grand expedition to uh, Silver Silk Cave. If you like adventuring, I recommend joining the Adventurer's Guild inside the building. Don't mind if I do. Hey, oh, oh, wow. No, crystal. I guess it's probably like a save crystal. Uh, good evening, tra uh, trainer, and welcome to the Adventurer's Guild. My name is Dala, how may I help you? Uh, become an adventurer. We're always open to new adventurers uh, joining our ranks. Just need your name and some additional details. So you're Voltsy from the distant Nylos region. That's good enough for now. I've marked you down as a recruit. You've earned the recruit title. Hey! Congratulations on your title. In order to set your title, press start and navigate to your adventurer's card. Okay, you can press L or R to switch through any own titles. Isn't that neat? Ooh, okay. But to truly be an adventurer, you'll need to work under someone experienced. Uh, Savgar would be perfect. He's very knowledgeable, and I know that he's currently on an expedition to a Silver Silk Cave. So I'll send him a Pidgey mail so he'll know you're coming. Okay, cool. Uh, experience 200, get 20 gold. Good luck. Don't forget to talk to Professor Dogwood for your Pokemon. I'll be here if you need anything. So is this the save point? Images are appearing directly in your head. Oh, this is a box. Oh, okay. Oh, I can open the menu, I was pressing the wrong button, that's why. <laughs> oh, in fan games, it's usually like wide, but I forgot because I haven't played a ROM hack in like over a year. It's uh, it's start for me. All right, so we've got quests. And then we've got options. Any new like options stuff? We've got fast, auto run. Uh, oh. All right, so let's go get our Pokemon until the starters are. Uh, let me take a look at your shiny new adventurer's card. Well then, nice to meet you, Trainer Voltsy, and congratulations on joining the Adventurer's Guild. The King and Queen obviously spared no expense when it comes to the future of their wonderful kingdom. One such expense is assisting aspiring adventurers in acquiring their very first Pokemon. I have three wonderful and very energetic Pokemon inside of this box. Yes. Oh, wow. For the purpose of distribution, I've raised these Pokemon myself. That looks awesome! Unfortunately, I've got to supply more than just you, so you'll just need to settle for just one of them. So we've got Trico, Toadile, and Charmander. I'm going with Charmander. I love the Pokeball moves as well, and just, oh, this is so cool! <laughs> Choosing Charmander. You've got a good eye for Pokemon. Look forward to your growth. So Charmander is a great choice. Along with your Pokemon, please also take these Pokeballs. Got five Pokeballs, nice. They are used to catch wild Pokemon. Sorry that I can't sh uh, can't show you, but it's quite intuitive. You should first try to convince the Pokemon with some berries. The happier the Pokemon, the easier it will be to capture. Okay, so while you're at it, why don't you go meet my assistant? She's a native who's also on her own Pokemon journey. I believe she said she was on her way to Silver Silk Cave. Oh, is that the person outside? Yeah, waiting at the entrance. Well, my duties have concluded. After a short rest, I'll be heading to Lockholm. Come and visit my study later. I'd love to hear about your adventures. Yeah, absolutely. Submission board. 
find Alfreda at the marketplace, okay? Let's do that. And go explore a little bit. Matroke and I are relaxing. We just finished a job for moving crates around at the docks. It's tiring work, but adventurers will always help those in need. Uh, sup? So my friends and I went to a silver silk cave. A bunch of spider Pokemon swarmed us, and we got split up. Only I made it back. I've been here drinking, hoping to see my party mates again. It's been two years. Oh, two years? Yeah, you probably ain't seeing them again. Uh, the core wizards in that lock home figured out how to store and transport Pokemon. The crystal's power is the key to all of that. We call it a Poker Crystal. The crystal reminds me of um, as a ROM hack I played a very long time ago, but it got cancelled. But they uh, use save points like you know an old traditional RPG. You can just save the game by pressing start and then obviously save the game. All right, so this place is very big to explore. So we've been in here. I believe we went in here. Did we? Let me double check. No, we did not. Ooh, we got a piano. So I'm growing quite tired of piano. The sounds are wonderful, but we can buy someone to play it for us with Father's Queen. <laughs> the young master picks up skills quite quickly. He also doesn't hurt that he's, al he's uh, always afforded the best tools available. All right. How much money do we have now? I don't know where to find out. Uh, we have 20 gold. I love the trainer card. We'll go recruit Foxy. But once I get 100 gold, I do want to buy the map just so I can see like what the region looks like. Some of my favorite things in like a, a new fan game or ROM hack is the moment you get the map, you just get to see what the region looks like. Uh, I'm oh, oh, it's the oh, Falcu, and I own this quaint little city. Over the years, I've had a string of fortunate events which led me to owning the real estate at the harbor and at the hotel. Your royalty? I've received no royal favors. I line the pockets of men and women who, how do I put it, assist in my ambitions. So what events? You'll do well to understand that I have made several donations to the city guards. Whose gold do you think built Seaside's prison? You understand not to pry, don't you? Okie dokie. Uh, sup? Ahoy there! Just giving me sea legs a break. What do you need? Captain's waiting. Oh no! I lost track of time. I'll be right there, Captain. Alright, so that's one sailor done. Without explicit permission from the Earl, and nobody is to gain entry to this building. Okie dokie. Uh, sup? There's a nasty storm brewing from the west. As soon as it clears, I'll be sailing to Serenity Isles. You'll be more than welcome to come along when the time comes. Thank you. Very kind of you. So before the war, Seaside used to be a quiet fishing ha hamlet. Look what's become of it now. Looks amazing. So I remember sitting on that dock as a young lass waiting to see a what pub had caught. My memory isn't what it used to be, but I'm fairly certain it, it's the only remaining remnant of old Seaside. Alright. Hopefully exploring this like little place as well we can find some more side quests or we can finish a side quest or get some items there's, there's a lot to you know do and explore and then we'll head to silk silver silk cave and then we can start getting to grips of the new battle system uh sup pa always had a bedtime story to tell me each night wonder where he heard all of these stories yeah where'd you get the stories from so i regularly chop wood around the site uh, seaside outskirts it's hard work and recently the wild pokemon have been problematic Ooh, okay I can't get over how beautiful this game is, man. This is so cool. Uh, I recognize your traveler. It was a smooth journey. Hey, captain's waiting. I hope he's not mad. I'll be going now. Hey, mission progressed. Sweet. Oh, wow. So, uh, in memory of those who passed in the Battle of Seaside Beach. So, I finished on this bit first. This is the Venturer's Guild. We spoke to the person already who was outside. Uh, so, we need to find someone in the market, which is you. So Seaside's Marketplace has everything you'll your ever need or want. If you have the gold, that is. Merchants sell higher quality items for those with greater reputations. So I'm your duelist. <laughs> Good, let's talk. You see, a former lover of mine, uh, Ansgar, is in dire need of beating. The lunaticker is off training at the outskirts of his new partner. Some recruiter at the docks talked to him, talked him into joining the Crown League and now he thinks he's destined to become the champion. Defeat him in battle and shatter his dreams like he did my heart. <laughs> or you get 100 gold for doing this. So he was on the outskirts, right? Uh, where are the outskirts? Potentially this, whoa, this way? There's a quest here. So those pesky bird Pokemon have been attacking villages in the city outskirts. Need to control their numbers, lest they uh, penetrate these great walls. Get 10 gold for it. So uh, be able to chase away some of the Natu and Pidgey, absolutely. Good, 
Report back to me when the deed has been done. And also tell you how many more you need to defeat. Uh, match up and I gather wood and berries from the outskirts. Berries can be held for a in battle effect when your Pokemon eats it. Here, give this to your Charmander. Ooh, thank you very much. I'm gonna save that for when we get like a proper battle. But uh, this is Seaside Cove, okay. So this should be the outskirts. Yeah. Hey oh. Hello there, traveller! Want to make some quick coin? Anyone can tell you you'd benefit. I'm in need of an escort. What do you say? Yeah, sure. Perfect. Hey, before we go, if you need to rest, there's a campfire right here we can use. Don't have a flint? Don't worry, I've got one for you. Use the two light campfires to rest at. Rest at campfires will take some time, but heal your Pokemon. Okie dokie. So this will be easy with another person. Need a rest, we can find a campfire nearby. Alright, so let's get into a battle. So, what's the matter? Don't tell me you've never battled a wild Pokemon before. Just my luck. I guess Mankey and I can show you. In a Pokemon battle, the first step is to observe the opposing Pokemon. We're battling a level 1 Natu. Next step, we need to send out our Pokemon to battle it. When you're ready, press any key to start the battle. Alright, to send out a Pokemon, you need to place it onto the battlefield. So, to pick your Charmander, hover over it and press A. Okay. So now you need to place Charmander on the battlefield. So use the uh, D-pad keys to move the cursor and A to drop it. Let's put it there. So after you place the Pokemon, you can always change your mind by picking it up again. So when you're ready, uh, you can use Start key to begin the battle. Go on, Charmander! Like an auto battler. Hey! It's our victory! So all Pokemon who participated in the battle will gain experience. The trainer levels affects how much experience your Pokemon will earn in battle. The trainer battles and quests are the best source of experience of both you and your Pokemon. It kind of reminds me of um, Team Fight Tactics, which I haven't actually played. I, I think it looks cool, just not my sort of style of game. But it reminds me of Team Fight Tactics a little bit. Level Shink, sorry, level Shinks, a level six Shinks. <laughs> Alright, so we can bring Mankey out as well. Alright, stop! Should we try and capture this? So if we get a little bit weaker. And boom! Oh, I can. Okay, so berry. Let's give you an orange berry. Uh, very scared, okay. Uh, this is a melee support. That's comfort. Okay, it's warming up to me. Uh, gonna throw a ball. I mean, it's, it's one blue star. I'm not sure that means like really bad, but let's give it a go. Hey, let's go. We got it. Nice. Okay. I'm getting used to, but this is really cool. Oh, are you the person I need to beat? Uh, yes, Ansgar. Hello, my name is Ansgar. Me and my Pokemon have become quite strong due to our rigorous training regimen. So how about we show you? So what do you say? Absolutely. All right, get ready. Oh, I'm ready. Got a Wisma, okay. Let's bring you down. Let's go. Can we move the camera as well? We can't. Oh no, Shinx is gonna die! Quick, quick! Nice! Whew. Might have to change Shinx's position so it doesn't get hit, but 100 gold! Why can't I win a single battle? Just been humiliated since leaving Seaside City. Maybe Alfredo was right. I'm not cut out for this. Do you think my former fiance will accept my apology? I spent 100 gold on the ring I gave her, uh, I gave her for our engagement. Maybe I can use that as leverage. Mm. Might forgive you. Might not, but oh, a Gumi. Uh, I'm gonna put you here. Let's let Shinx uh, get some experience, but ooh. come on. All right, go. That's low enough. I'm not sure if like you need to lower the HP, but uh, it's a compliment, Gumi. That feels special. Seems hungry. Uh, you can get one of these. Okay. It's got like the heart, maybe it's the heart system on the left, that's what 
uh, is how do you capture the Pokemon? It's a ranged defender. Nice. Okay, he's got a Goomy. Goomy, 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 Goomy. Need to use a campfire if we can. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna jump down so I can grab this. Got a potion, so eat. And oh, ah, probably have something to do back in town. Not to worry, I'll wait here. And I guess I'm going to uh, hand in the quest for uh, the lady. And then, why is that a little bit darker? Is that maybe like a... Hey, let's go. I thought that looked a little bit suspicious. Yeah. Let's go and um, get the map, which was... I believe the map was in here. No, it wasn't in here. The map was somewhere around here. Was it you? Uh, nope. Has to be this building then. Yeah, it was this guy. Right, listen here, mate. Yeah, the map. So, uh, 100 for the map. Ah, that's a good ch uh, chap. Bit gullible, but that's all right now, isn't it? I'm hoping that wasn't like a, a bad thing to do. I just really want to see the map. All right, uh, let's see. Ooh, bag looks nice. Restores 30 HP, restores 60. Got the flint, got the world map. Wow. Oh, this looks awesome. The detail, it just look, it looks so good. So usually with like, when you're in, you know, demos of games that aren't released, they don't reveal what these locations are. So I'm guessing a demo, we can go to this place, go around here, a lock home, can't go here, and we can't go around here. So the demo will be just like this part here. Probably ends like around here. All good. Right, uh, what else do we want to do? So I think what we, yeah, let's talk to you, hand this in. I guess like the best thing to do now is probably go to uh, Head Force Silver Silk Cave, but what around town is that poor Ansgar was put in his place? He'll be back groveling at my feet any day now. You're doing well. Here's the promise, 100 gold. Hey, I saw the ring Ansgar gave me. That's okay, he'll buy me a new one. <laughs> hey, chumming at level seven, nice. Uh, can we get like healed up in like the guild area maybe? Uh. I'm not sure the the way to heal. Oh, do we do? Do we go in here? Yeah, I, re I read this bit. Uh, so we want to go explore this part of town then, maybe. Seaside Beach. So when I was a kid, I always admired the sailors. Wish I could be one. My dad wouldn't let me though. He said there'd be a better future working for a noble. Wonder what he would have said if he saw how miserable I am chained under Earl Falcu. I feel most free when I'm here thinking about one day going out to sea. And just do it, dude. Uh, sup? So sometimes I find things buried in the sand. It's a nice bonus for supervising my son while he plays. Oh, guess I'm right there. Oh, I guess I need probably like a shovel or something to get it, but... So the warm sand and... The warm sand and cold water are perfect for making sand castles. Love the music here. This game's got a banging soundtrack. It looks beautiful. This is like shaping up to be like... Absolutely incredible ROM hack. All right, so. Uh, oh, I should probably talk to you too. So I, special, I specialize in bug Pokemon. The seaside outskirts is having a bird Pokemon issue, so I'm waiting until the situation is sorted out. So I'm on it. Uh, the King Queen live in a beautiful castle in Lockholm. Love to visit one day. Oh, I guess we're gonna be visiting soon. Right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be ending this party here. So next episode, we'll continue. Wait, can I go in here? Oh, I can. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh. Don't stay yet long, visitor. You'll end up wanting to stay. Okay. Maybe we won't end it just yet. This place is looking insane, but there's only a supply shed beyond this point. Turn back, visitor. Can I talk to you? Curse that seller. He was supposed to bail me out by now, but he hasn't even shown up yet. Uh, Arceus, save me. They've put me in the same cell as a crazy person. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, as I was saying, 
Next episode, we'll go finish off the Pidgey and Natu quest. We'll go and escort the other guy, and then what was the other quest we got? We got me at Silver Silk Cave, I think it's pretty much the only one. We're gonna get healed up a little bit, grinding if I can. But I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.